This is the favorite question of the INFJ. INFJs are infamous for asking this question since they are constantly striving to better themselves and the world around them. Why do I have to do things this way instead of that? Why should I have to go to college, marry, or have children? Why do people grow sleepy in the winter when the sun sets early? The INFJ's favorite question, why? Can you relate to this? Or perhaps do you know an INFJ who often ask questions? Stay tuned to understand this behavior much better. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment because we donate $1 to www.savethechildren.org monthly for each new subscribers that join our community. So by subscribing and watching our videos, you are already helping to save the children. I questioned everything as a young INFJ, one of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. Of course, it annoyed my parents and teachers, but it was just how I did things. I refused to do anything unless I knew why I was doing it, and I had to agree that the rationale made sense. If the reason was illogical, as most explanations offered to children are, I refused to complete the chore until the adult could provide a better one. Of course, the flip side, there is always a flip side with INFJs, was that I was a major people pleaser. As a result, the dilemma arose, should I obey my carers or be a pain in the neck? The conflict raged on in my thoughts on a regular basis, and it is still going on now. The INFJ's favorite question is, why, and it's both a blessing and a problem. INFJs aren't looking for a, easy, life. As I grew older, I understood that most people don't care why they do what they do. They just do it because they were told to, and they don't want to dispute over such petty matters. To put it clearly, most people don't want to think too hard. Life is easier when things fit neatly into categories and no one disrupts the status quo. The INFJ, on the other hand, is a different story. Of course, we are hardly the only Myers-Briggs personality types who have ever wondered why. Introverts in general are known to contemplate deeply and rigorously scrutinize dominant views. But INFJs are tenacious when it comes to that question, which means we ask it like a dog with a bone. It burns inside us, torturing us at times, until we obtain our answer. We sometimes make more effort for ourselves by questioning why things are done a specific way. For example, I formerly worked for a company that employed a specific email marketing software. It accomplished the job quite well, and it was good enough for the responsibilities at hand, as my supervisor put it. But I had a sneaking suspicion that we could do better. Why was good enough sufficient? It is never the case for the INFJ. As a result, on my own time, I explored and discovered a software that was less expensive and performed nearly identically with a few tweaks. I offered it to my supervisor, and happily, he agreed without hesitation. Why INFJs have doubts about everything? INFJs, I believe, question everything because we have a strong desire to change the environment around us, and ourselves. It is not enough for us to slog through life and make it to the next day. As we live through each moment, we must strive to make everything better, better, better. We are constantly striving to improve not only ourselves, but also the lives of others, the tasks we take on, and society as a whole. There's a reason INFJs are known as the advocate, and they're the type most likely to start a movement that leads to social change, according to 16 personalities. It is our deep desire to contribute to the planet in some way. How to respond to why questions. Many INFJs quickly understand that this trait may be both a blessing and a disadvantage. It can be rather bothersome to others, particularly those who are unconcerned about the reasons for things. As a result, we attempt to find things out on our own as much as possible. Thank God for Google, because it is how I answer all of the questions that arise during my time on this world. Why are an airplane's wheels larger in the back and smaller in the front? What is the most efficient way to dry my clothes in Thailand's hot, humid weather? Is there a better way to pick up my mum following her spa appointment? Thanks to the internet, INFJs no longer need to ask these questions of their employer, co-workers, or parents, hooray! We don't need to pierce the tranquil veneer of those around us, we may just open our trusted browsers. However, occasionally people do things a certain way just for the sake of doing them. 
Maybe you know someone like this. It's the way they've always done it, and it's the way they'll always do it. There's no rhyme or reason for it, and if you inquire, you become the bad guy. In certain cases, I've discovered that it's best to avoid asking why. Sure, it stings my tiny INFJ heart, but it's sometimes the best way to avoid causing a commotion. Other times, even though it is annoying, asking why can be really beneficial. Those are the occasions, in my opinion, when asking a question can significantly improve someone's life. For instance, I once worked for a company whose CEO was obsessive about not being challenged. People were even fired for questioning him. It would have been wiser for me to keep my mouth shut until I got a better job in this case. But when I noticed a colleague being tormented by the CEO for something that was not her fault, I felt compelled to intervene and inquire as to why. Aside from the unacceptable behavior, it was unfair and unjust, and you know how we INFJs feel about this kind of thing. In this scenario, even though it was a great pain to speak up, I'm glad I did since it caused the CEO to back down on my colleague. INFJs want to know why they should improve their lives. As INFJs, we have this insatiable want to become the best version of ourselves and leave the world a better place than when we arrived. It's at the heart of why we're always questioning why, about both the small and major things. One of the main reasons I launched my INFJ YouTube channel was to address this issue. I discovered I have a voice, and despite being one of the most introverted individuals I know, I want to share my opinions with lonely INFJs and make them feel less alone by demonstrating that there are many of us who have the same peculiarities. Along the way, I got less shy and more outgoing, and my communication skills improved. As an added plus, I was able to assist others in bettering themselves. Yes, INFJs are natural inquirers and seekers. We want to know why we're doing something and if it's the best way to accomplish it. If it isn't, it doesn't take long for us to conduct some research, make some changes, run some experiments, and figure out a better way to accomplish it. Indeed, it gives us enormous joy as INFJs to keep doing these experiments, optimizing our lives more and more every day. These mini-experiments are the ultimate source of joy for me, there is nothing greater. When I discover a technique to better my self-care regimen, the way I edit my videos, or anything else, I experience a cognitive orgasm. Don't be afraid, INFJs. Just keep asking why. It is one of our greatest assets and offerings to the world. We are called to be daring, to ask why, and to better ourselves and the world around us. That way, we'll be able to leave it in a better, brighter state. And that is it for this video, we hope you liked it. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment because we donate $1 to www.savethechildren.org monthly for each new subscribers that join our community. So by subscribing and watching our videos, you are already helping to save the children. See you again.